Welcome back. Um, let's now talk about merging data frames or merging, merging data sets. We spoke about concatenating data frames before. Um, I've borrowed the, um, the data frames that we've created in this video and we said that um, concatenation usually when we speak about concatenation we mean uh, concatenating things along the columns so the new data sets will have more rows. By default, if you if you think of that, when we concatenate things um, along the rows, then things will be in order. If we concatenate data frame one and data frame two, data frame one will be on top, data frame two will be uh, in the bottom, as we saw in the last video. Now let's close this notebook and move on to our merge data uh, merge um, data frames notebook. Let's do the normal uh, importing of pandas data frame one data frame two data frame three and now i have a little example here for the merge if i do shift tab let's have a look at the documentation and here it tells us that it merges data frame objects by performing database style join operation by columns or uh, indexes so here it will join um, it will basically do the join so, so in such a way that the the new data frame will have more columns instead of uh, more rows, right? And it, the join has several options. It has um, the one to the left, the data frame to the left, the data frame to the right. We spoke about that before. And how it, do, it does it in an inner way, I'll explain what that means in a bit. And then some other options, left on, right on, left index, right index, and so forth, and so on and so forth. You can uh, read about these which make you know the function quite powerful. Let's have a look at this simple example now. Uh, we have data frame two and data frame three. In fact, let's just have a look at what they look like. This is data frame two, and um, this is data frame three. So what we're going to do is we're going to merge data frame two with data frame th three on ID, on this ID, the index, or on ID six, seven, eight, nine, one, four, Eight, nine. If I do that, you notice that the new, the newly created data frame has ID eight and nine. So what it did here is it found the overlap between the two data sets. Okay, the overlap you based on that column between the two data sets and did the merge according to that. I hope the idea makes sense. And now the one to the left is data frame two, city X rank X, population city Y rank y these are because uh, the the names are uh, repeated so the, the one the x is the one to the left the y is the one to the right city and rank here belong to data frame three so this is the on if i do for example if i just display data frame one one two three four five and data frame three has one four eight nine if i do data frame two you notice there's no overlap so if i try to join or merge data frame one and data frame 2 based on the ID, the new data frame will be empty. Yes, because there's no overlap, you know, based on all, there's no intersection based on the column that I have uh, specified. Okay, so that's one interesting thing. Um, another interesting thing is the how. So we said that how is inner by default, and possible values are, sorry, this let's do 2 and 3. So how is inner by default? Let's have a look at other options. So the how we have left, right, outer, and inner. The left, it uses only keys from the left data frame or left frame. So here if I tell it left, it will do uh, the, the, the merge based on the key on data frame two. If I tell it right, let's actually try that. So let's maximize this, it'll open a new tab and do, do do that and see what happens. You notice here the ID now is ID from data frame two because it's the on the left, six, seven, eight, nine. And you notice uh, because data frame three does not have um, does not have indices. Uh, six and seven. If we if you look here, the values will be nice. So automatically, uh, pandas will fill these values out. If I do it right, it's obvious. It'll do it based on the index of data frame 
3 and then again the missing ones from data frame 2 will be filled um, as nans and if we do it outer what will happen here is it'll try everything it'll merge basically everything and it will um, fill out the missing values with nans I hope the idea makes sense quite simple and really powerful um, what else can we talk about here um, I think I'm gonna stop here so just to repeat the how uh, is quite important when inner it's by default then it uses the intersection of keys from both data frames if we do outer then it uses like the union of the keys so like we did here it brings everything and it fills out um, uh, the missing values with NANDs if we do left then it'll use the keys from the left data frame only if we do right it'll use the uh, uh, the keys uh, the, the values basically from the, from the column that we used uh, from the right data frame yeah let's stop here and continue in the next video with more powerful uh, stuff that we can do using the merge function thanks again and I'll see you in the next video